everyone. I'm John Hammerly with the Plastic Surgery Channel. I am here with a good friend, Caroline Glicksman, all the way. Well, where does this podcast find you at right now, Caroline? I'm in New Jersey. In New Jersey, and you're cooking dinner, so I've got to make this <laughs> quick and dirty. Uh, here's the key question. The biggest surprise that you have found from the pandemic, you probably had major worries before it hit or as it was hitting. What surprised you now a few months later? Um, I would say basically when it comes to patient care, um, the biggest surprises were the how strict our regulations are to get patients into the surgery centers. We had our temporary shutdown. That was miserable for patients. I mean, most of what I do is elective, but it's not elective in the minds of my patients who would set aside time, college kids who are seniors in high school or proms coming up, um, weddings coming up, they thought. So I think that patients were really devastated that there was no elective surgery. But then when we finally did open up to elective surgery, the restrictions, the constantly changing restrictions on um, you know, preoperative testing for COVID. Yes, you can go, no, you can go six days, seven days, 10 days. So- Frustrating for everybody? Very frustrating for everybody, but trying to maintain a level of safety, um, safety for our nurses, safety for our staff, safety for patients' uh, families. Um, so trying to find that fine balance because we're, for the most part, what I do is elective cosmetic surgery. Mm -hmm. But like I said, Elective doesn't mean that they don't want it or need it. Well, you've had now almost 12 months uh, <laughs> under this frustrating in and out craziness. What lessons have you learned? I think the key lesson was to, um, how to transition to a HIPAA compliant virtual platform both in our clinical trials, which was a huge challenge because I have investigators all over the country, um, actually wrote up an article on this, but uh, just the fact that if a hurricane hits one city, one city shuts down. When you have a worldwide pandemic and you have um, a clinical trial going on in uh, 25 different states and three different countries, we all shut down. So learning to transition to virtual then taking that platform. And now today I had four virtual consults, two post-ops that were virtual. It's, a, it's like a hybrid practice now and learning to just very quickly do hybrid and, and virtual consults and um, making it work for my staff. We have finally, this just gave us the kick in the pants to understand the virtual patient and um, for me, it was, uh, it's great. I mean, I, I actually love seeing some of these patients uh, virtually following them and they live in Delaware and they live in Philadelphia. They don't have to drive. Um, so I think I can do almost everything virtually that I used to think I had to see them in person, uh, but I still bring them in for their, for their, you know, just to get a hands-on, of course. Uh, Dr. Glicksman, I sure appreciate your time. Uh, you have probably, at least, besides dinner, you probably have three or four more Zoom meetings to go, so I'll let you go. Thank you very much. And anybody, if you've got any more questions, please go to theplasticsurgerychannel.com. Thank you.